<laughs> what up, lads and ladettes? Let's play some more Killer 7. So, this is part three. We're going to go through some story. And our next target is Sunset. Hmm, looks like two people. Very interesting. So, this part has a lot of story. And it's also um, much harder than the first chapter. And then things get really tough with the next chapter after this is, like, pure hardness. So, let's, uh... Well, let's go. Let's enjoy some chemo. Huh. July 3rd, 1998. The day that all international disputes were resolved. This day marked the beginning of true peace for the entire world, for people of all races. The four powers quickly formed anti-terrorist organizations and set out creating peacekeeping agencies to bring order and security on a global scale. The world unified to do everything in its power to eradicate all the weeds of evil and disorder. The International Society, under the motto of protecting the world from international terrorism, ideology terrorism, and cyber terrorism, stopped all air transportation and closed every network station in a short span of two years to reduce the likelihood of terrorism. The world had changed. World had changed. In the year 2002, a network of intercontinental expressways bridging the Atlantic Ocean opened, connecting the two major sides of the world. In the following year of 2003, the construction of a mass-scale distribution system began, and a man-made landmass as large as a city was built over an ocean. The use and research of nuclear energy was banned, and all Wait, radioactive waste and report? materials <laughs> were disposed of at an energy disposal facility in the Gibsoft Islands, a remote set of islands off the coast of the Indian Ocean. Now, international eyes were on the elimination of the intercontinental missiles that posed the biggest threat to world peace. In order to eliminate these weapons of mass destruction, they were launched outside the Earth's atmosphere and intercepted by other missiles, exploding them on contact. People around the world watched these explosions light up the sky as if they were some kind of dazzling light show. These explosions later known as the missile shows symbolic became the symbol of world peace the world was filled with hope but a new threat was on the rise at the signing ceremony of the un's world security treaty in the year 2003 a new breed of terrorists who called themselves smiling faces attacked the ceremony the devastating attack caught the International Society by surprise and temporarily crippled key operations in the United Nations. That assault was aimed at nothing other than using terrorism to create terror. Fear spread throughout the nations like wildfire. There was nothing the police or the military could do to counter the smiling faces. The only ones who had any chance of stopping these smiling faces were the omniscient and almost godlike professional assassins. The key players behind the scenes of the four powers utilized their connections and called upon the group known as Yeet. Killer Seven. What? Their only hope rested with them. Ah, uh, Harmon. Hello, Mr. Smith. The election is drawing near. Have you decided on your vote? If you haven't, please let the Republic Party make the most of your precious vote. Thank you and have a nice day. Precious vote? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh! Got him, Suda51. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Certainly weird. 
What? You want to eat? Make it fast, okay? I have to go to class at nine. Cool. So, you ready for it, Trev? I don't think you're ready. I'm ready. Are you sure? Here we go. Ah, oh, Garcia. How long has it been? Ah. Uh, that... Line. Also, look at that vitality. Me and Spencer probably repeated that line a thousand times. Ah, uh, Garcia. The master is awake. Garcia, relax. As you wish. As you wish, master. There's an important message for you. Ah, yes. I've felt it. An old friend is trying to bring down a country. I will contact you. If there are visitors for me, call. As you wish. Samantha, the lights. As you wish, Master. By the way, Killer 7's a decently long game. Uh... There's definitely two discs, which is pretty well for the GameCube, which is it's pretty cool. It's time. Can I go now? Yeah. Thanks. See you tomorrow then. Thanks. Mwah. By the way, I want to point out something that the shorts she was wearing is essentially my shorts. Every I day. wasn't paying attention. Were they like they were on super smart. micro? Yeah, they like barely existed. That's me. Ah, Garcia. There's gonna be some story hitting us, lads. Lots of um, symbolism there. Yeah, Suda Fifty One hits you real hard with the symbolism. Washington to DC. Hey, why does the Department of Defense look like a... Like a boah! Wait, look at this. Hmm, what is this? A bug in the system? No, sir, it's reading right. There's 200. What the hell? A country could disappear off the map. Do you have the impact point yet? Yes, sir. It's Japan. What? Are the fireworks ready? No, forget it. Japan is our ally. No, we're not authorized to make that kind of decision. Forget authorization. We have to do something now or else. We can't just let it happen. Get the president on the line. This is an emergency call for the president. Mr. President, this is Spencer speaking, sir. Whoa. 200 pulsars have been fired towards Japan. We're unable to compute their trajectory since we're avoiding the computation time lag. Interception can only commence two hours before initial impact. Should we launch the fireworks? Mr. President, your assessment, sir. That was like an episode of 24 in like 45 seconds. It definitely felt like it. I like how, like, that particular scene, they did it, like, so hard. Like, all the smash cuts. It's like, da-da, da-da, da-da. It's also amazing that the game starts the way it does, and then once the tutorial's over, then it does this. It's just... It's so unique. It's very political. And you would not guess that. The missiles have been launched. Where are they headed? Japan. Nippon. Washington. 
<laughs> Restaurant Fukushima. It's a popular joint. And the target? Uh, the owner of the place, Toru Fukushima. See, he's the middleman between the Japanese UN representatives and our government. A government job? Eh, it's a job from all the parties. Japan has turned against us. So that's why they're gonna hit Japan? Well, it's a possibility. It depends on how they move. Oh, it'll be a blow, all right. What will happen to Japan? It's up to the president. They have 18 hours. All hell's gonna break loose over in Washington. And I sure as hell don't wanna be there. If, for some reason, you need help, go see a guy named Kasai. He's well-informed, especially about the Japanese movement. You got all the details in there, okay? This time, the string puller is Fukushima. Now, the integrity and the true worth of Japan is at stake here. Hmm. Uh, a little confused? Don't worry. You'll be more confused in a little bit. Forget what other if it's the scene I think it is it's awesome go to Fukushima do it mates Ah, oh, yeah oh no I guess well we're, we'll see it soon the absolute Kino all right, assignment 34, let's go. So yeah, this part's definitely, obviously, bigger than the last one, and much more difficult, a lot more harder uh, enemies, close quarters, that kind of stuff. Man, the, just the coloring and just the I atmosphere know. is so good in this game. <laughs> Does it look like a sushi joint? It's also pretty amazing that a pretty obviously Japanese developer have made the Japanese the antagonist. Yeah, that is true. I'm trying to figure out how they do those voice things, like... Because sometimes it sounds like the words that they're actually saying, and sometimes it sounds like they're almost saying the words backwards... Although it's, like, pretty random. Yeah, it seems like they pay attention to uh, names and important, um, like, terms, and they'll speak those out in sort of understandable English sometimes. But I Me. I remember watching a video about, uh, not about this game, but Animal Crossing speech. And I'm pretty sure Animal Crossing speech is also, like, a synthesized, like, it's actually, like, sort of using... English, but it's all like jumbled up really hard. Yes, I must say. Welcome. How many in your party, sir? I want to talk to the owner. Seven. <laughs> hey, I ask what it's concerning. Yeah, I'm here to kill Mr. Fukushima. Certainly, would be delighted <laughs> to serve you. What a good assassin. <laughs> Uh, out of character, that never happens when using Master Smith. Yeah, you never hit the the good spots when using Master Smith. So let's go with Coyote to start off with. Did you play long enough to uh, figure out if um, the upgrades actually go between chapters? Yeah, they do. I can actually okay. show you right now. I don't know why I was convinced about that last part, but... Uh... The one thing I do need to... Re like, you see, he's power one and whatever. Yeah. Okay. The one thing I do need to remember is before the end of each chapter... Oh, crap. I literally did not even hear them. Uh, that's why you cannot play this game, uh, like, on mute. Um, like I was saying, the... Um, one thing I need to remember is to use all the blood before I end a chapter, because it does not carry over. <laughs> Yeah, and I remember sometimes the blood requirements to re unlock the seven killers gets pretty high at some points. I think he's just gonna run away. Free blood! Dang it. 
Because those things don't actually hurt you, but... <laughs> My boy Travis. Oh. Like, I don't even know how you do that, that voice. Alright. Mary. Dear Amir, this is a warning, Amir. Transfer $100 to my account. I'm absorbing a $25 loss. If you remember last time, he was, like, asking for 125 bucks to do, like, a hit on someone. Final offer, all right? Nothing terrible has happened yet. It's time for you to send the money. Consider it a gift from me to you. Surprisingly, the Smith Syndicate has many talents, and I ain't asking, uh, ain't talking about cheap tricks like swallowing goldfish or cramming your head into a rubber glove. They're on a whole other plane. I saw it with my own eyes. Heroes for our age. Dan Smith is straight out of, uh, ja Japanime. Launching balls of light and crap. Yeah, you bet it blew my socks off. Heck, I wanted to shake his hand and ask for an autograph, but I decided to put my life first. What does that mean? Uh, um, Kaidi Smith oh, right. spurts blood from her arms. What a sick sight. And then what did she do? She flattened a wall right before my eyes. She must have taken out some kind of barrier. That's what Kaidi's blood can do. Sometimes her arm sucks blood. That's some stuff I didn't want to see either. Master Smith is still a mystery, but I do know that he can do some sweet wrestling moves. He was a small town pro wrestler who drew crowds to main events, but just before he made his debut in the New York scene, he mysteriously disappeared. This is common knowledge among fans. The only thing for sure is that there's more than meets the eye. An update will follow. Johnny Gagnon. The one thing I will say is it's cute, but sometimes reading the words with these letters moving is, like, a bit tough. Like, I get it. I just wish they moved a little yeah. less. Like, sometimes the uh, excessive style over substance in Suda 51 games work, but sometimes it doesn't. Number one. I love Travis's shirt every time. Uh-oh, don't want no parties taken over. You hear that? Restreet? I love the ones where it's like way longer. Yeah. So one of Coyote's special abilities is he can jump real high. I can jump right now. Yeah, nothing personal, kid. So he actually has two lock picking in that. The eagle has landed. I, I just don't understand. I, I, I mean, I never remembered that the shooting in this game was all that good. But it just seems like the hitboxes are really inconsistent. And I will say it's not this TV because I was playing upstairs and uh, not on the Sanyo. And, oh, dude, just look at this. Just look. Yeah, just just so look good. at it. And it's so minimalist. Like, they're just using, like, gradients. Like, there's no textures on anything. And it's not even an HD game, but it's, like, just so yeah. sweet. It's, like, it's a product of, because there are such limited hardware. I mean, the GameCube isn't, like, that weak. But all things considered. But, like, when you take limited hardware and add, like, a very unique, good art style, it just elevates the game so much. Wow, you skip school a lot. Yikes. Kiss Sigma. Yeah, I heard half year end school. Now. Yeah, right? I wouldn't be surprised if they on purpose do like some lines and then yeah. some other ones are just random garbage and they're just like oh is there a rhyme or reason but there really isn't oh. Oh. Yeah. what's I don't want that image in my head dude that's a nice story, Head. Cool story, bro. Hey, I got to take a half a year off of school. Oh, how's that? Yeah, I jumped from the second floor and pulverized my leg. 
school and possibly killed my mom. During it. Yikes! Oh, so entering back, not not in this attic specifically, but in the next room is brutal. The first time I get a Harmon's room, I should be able to unlock Dan. <laughs> Where are you at? What the? Cool. He's like to the right of you. Yeah, I guess I should have looked to the right of me. Oh, sweet. No? Yes. I'm just going for the for the fake kills. Well, this one looks like a connection. Yes. I'll take it. You don't always get a blood capsule from doing from getting the good uh, hit, but it is nice to have. Well, I I actually will need a couple coming up, so nice. It's nice to have some. So this chapter is divided into two parts. The first part is decently difficult, and the second one is like yo. <laughs> ah. Yeah, so in case anyone was wondering, you still get blood from killing them that way, but it's not nearly as much. So you definitely want to get the sweet spots. Okay, good. Really, all we want to do is survive till we get to, to uh, Dan and Kaidi. Where are you? Well, you already heard Kaidi? Or did you mean someone else? No, I guess we already do. Cool. Alright, uh, I think. Alright, yeah, let's talk to him. Our boy. <laughs> It's like my damn tears, you hear me? Yeah, right with that man? I like that. He's be careful with the new enemy type. Like, literally giving you actual, like, game advice. Breaking the fourth wall, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, we're gonna have to play a big game of... F this enemy type. So you only have to hit him once. But if you hit them when their uh, thing is closed, it's like definitely hitting you and probably an auto death. <laughs> I'm gonna draw them out this way. I know it's kind of weak, but. Yeah, where is it? Uh oh. Okay. Well, you did. Hey, that actually worked. Sweet. The strats. Did Kaede's, um, pop change color? Oh, God! That killed her. No, nope, didn't. Good. Sweet. I'm super surprised. That was a weird angle. Yeah. I don't, I, like, it... I guess it's just the way I ran it. Yeah, I think because you turn around, like, the camera got... Thin. Yeah. It's funny. Alright. So, uh... Gonna unlock everyone. We should have everyone unlocked by this point. Don't really have enough blood to do anything. Uh, Dan, how long has it been? Oh, okay, well, we don't even need it. Uh, cringe. This LP's cringe. Literally, like, if they want to make this game ultra hard, it's just like, uh, unlock Dan. Oh, that's right, I have to literally. In here, I can't press start, so I have to, like, choose him on the thing. Uh, if you want to make this, this game super hard, be like, yes, uh, Dan, you need to beat 20 enemies, and you only start with, like, Kevin. Or I guess maybe Khan might be the hardest to, like, really defeat enemies. Yeah, right. Kevin or, Kevin or Khan is definitely the hardest. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, okay. I'm actually thinking of the other one that, like, teleports to you, but still pretty, pretty tough. It teleports behind you. Literally teleports to you. This game leaves you paranoid. I think I'm paranoid. I'm surprised that didn't kill Kaidi, because she has, like, no health. Yeah, it seems like her biggest uh, weaknesses is uh, yeah. So this re reloading takes seven million years. This literally <laughs> like means nothing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Where's that one? Where's that one? Oh, he's like super quiet. <laughs> Dude, what if um, what yeah i tried that what if that heaven smile was actually just like a foot tall and he was like an inch from you oh my god dude that's uh, actually super scary yeah like i don't think that this is abs this needed at all and like nothing happens at the end but i'm not in any hurry to finish this game so let's just do everything Destroyed. That's right, baby. I like how the two least helpful ones, Kevin and Ka and uh, Con Smith, they're like, "Hey, you can't, you can't do that." <laughs> well, I guess you need them. <laughs> if that doesn't work. Yeah right. Yeah right. It's like get out of here. Yeah right. Maybe it's uh on purpose. It's like oh you did it perfectly. See so, yeah, all you get doing all this is just literally Travis. Good shape. I love it. You know, I think it's very, uh, I think it's very, like, comforting older games that do not have, like, trophies and achievements and stuff. Because I was just thinking, like, why, why would I go back out there except for just to, like, do it and be like, yeah, I did it. But, like, like in a game nowadays, it'd be like, Travis, you talk to Travis every time. One bronze trophy and i'm like it's so tiring you know what i mean yeah. and then and there's people like george that are just <laughs> the only reason that they play games is for trophies right right so these ones you only obviously hit them in the green so these are really nice to to, to build some uh blood up of... oh my god you did shoot early okay but I'll give it to the game. He did shoot early every single time. Ow. Because you're being nervous. <laughs> I agree with every single miss that happened right there. No, I'm not saying I, I'm not saying time. I don't. It's more like, what the hell to me? That, like, that one That missed. one was... That, that was definitely... Late. Early. early. Dang, dude. What early. is my problem? Who else we got? Uh, I definitely hurt here. A spinning ball. Okay. It's probably behind me. Um, but yeah, like stuff like that is like, like I get its point, like achievements and trophies and stuff. And it's kind of a, it's a cool thing if you like really like the game to be like I did everything. Like I've done that a couple times where I like hunt trophies, but it just ends up like for me just being like I did this thing that I normally wouldn't have done. Yeah, I only go for trophies for a game that like I absolutely love and I want to find any excuse to keep playing it. 
<laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that was like perfect. <laughs> See ya. Mind smashes. Look at Spencer's god tier gameplay. Yeah, I thought I heard something else too. <laughs> I know. The game is constantly just messing with you. Hey, bud! Power. Imagine sitting Something. like that for more than like two minutes. I mean, maybe if you do it a lot. Oh, yeah. For sure. And maybe if they have comfy yoga mat type things, but yeah. You're still basically just sitting on your knees. You know what I think of? Like, catchers in baseball. Like, yeah, they wear things like their um, shin pads, like, have, like, little pads, like, for behind the knee, but holy crap. Like, right? It's just, like, yeah. three hour. Well, I mean, even if it's half the time, an hour and a half of just being, like... Oh, yeah. I mean, uh... A year or two there when I was playing junior baseball, I was the catcher. <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> yeah, it's by far the toughest. But then again, position. Playing, playing defense in baseball, <laughs> any position nope, sucks. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Seriously. Uh oh. Just giving the people uh, what they want to see. This is confusing. Yeah, I should have. It was my bad. I should have went down the hallway first. But hey, we have a lot of blood now, so. I don't care if, if one of the stages I have to, uh, like, grind, I will uh, get everyone max level because literally, why not? I mean, literally, why? The funny thing about this game is I remember the first three chapters very vividly, and then after. Oh my god. What, 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 what. Uh, yeah, you should have. Go back. Just reload the room. And then just instantly run in. Yeah, you should do that. Um. But, like, I don't. Like, I don't even remember what, like, the ending is. I don't remember what the end level is. For yeah, some... like, the, the cutscenes that we just watched right there, like, I remember, like very loose things about it, but like watching it, like, oh, this is how the story goes. Hey, good. <laughs> Go away. Are the yellow ones, like, they don't have a weak point at all? I, I don't know, I guess. Or maybe it's, like, hidden or something. I mean, the weak points are yellow, so maybe they have them, but it's just impossible. Oh, yeah. Uh, very complicated. Glorious. Fill that up with water. Ah, yes. Look at those water graphics. It reminds me of Fear Effect. Fear Effect uses a lot of, like, random Japanese water and, uh... Oh, yeah, you haven't done, um... Fear Effect 2. Maybe someday. The game is also hard. It's something that, like, the whole time I'd be like... Oh, yeah, it's like... It's basically trial and error. <laughs> Whereas this, for the most part, I'm not like, I'm going to constantly uh, die. I'm not going to talk to that random guy that's just standing there. Oh, all Yoon Hing does, I don't know if you remember from the first time, but all he does is give you hints. Oh, right, okay. Perfect. Yeah, so it's like, whatever. That's one guy I will not be talking to, just because it's like... it. That's just a waste of time. In my opinion, but I'm gonna talk to every Travis and Uwaru, Uwazuru, Uwazu. That thing that I see. What if I try to be really baller and just run past everyone here? What do you think? Hmm. Oh no. Not dude. All that delicious blood in this easy stage <laughs> before the game gets super hard. Oh, I, yeah, I would not have been able to. <laughs> Uh, oh, dang it. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Obviously, because he's trying to run. Oh, and you can also only get, like, a thousand, so next time I see a Harmon's room, I'm just gonna go there. Do you know the difference between when the eye is red and the eye is, like, a turquoise? I don't, actually. Because... Because I noticed that, like, it's not that it's full life, because I remember you getting hit and the eyes were turquoise. Maybe yeah. it was just you playing as Kaede. It might be. 
Kevin Smith never fails to amaze. You won't believe this, but it's straight up truth. The sucker is a real life invisible man. At first, even I didn't believe it. There's gotta be a hoax, right? Well, crap, this guy's for real. And then Con Smith, what a pain in the butt punk. I can never catch him. It blew my socks off nine times. When he speeds off, he disappears. That's right, disappears. The Olympic record mean nothing when him, him running around. Kyrie Smith has a thing, a thing for being a crook. But he's not like other thugs. He's fit, he jumps like an animal. Incredible athleticism. Not to mention, he can pick any padlock. He must have picked this up as a method of survival in a rough neighborhood. And then there's Garcia and Smith. I really haven't seen him much. So everything I know is based on conjecture. Rumor has it he can spot the heaven smiles a mile away. This character is no joke. Going up against monsters like that. My investigation continues. Johnny Gagnon. And uh, we'll be right back, folks.